Day four of training camp here at Grand Park. Carson Wentz not here. We're hearing he may be out indefinitely, hoping to get more of an update today, but we didn't get it. So Taylor now looking for a quarterback, and boy, the cupboard's kind of bare right now. Yeah, the reins get handed over to Jacob Eason, the second-year quarterback. He was a rookie last year. Was kind of a COVID year for him, so he steps into the pocket, 23 years of age, and it's all on him now. It is interesting to see him playing today. You know, the Colts take a lot of pride in the football not touching the ground during drills. We saw the football on the ground a lot. This is a tough situation for this uh, young quarterback. This is a guy who hasn't worked a lot with the main receivers, with the T.Y. Ildens, the Zach Pascals. He's worked a lot, he says, with Michael Pittman, but it's going to take some time to get some chemistry going when you were the third man on the roster last year. Yeah, it's definitely different, you know, but it, 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 at, at the same time, it, it's Good, good for me, you know, as a player to get in there and get the reps, get that exposure, you know, get in and out of the huddle, see what's going on in the defense. Um, it's a lot different, you know, watching someone else do it. You know, you, you can't really always see what they're thinking, but you can talk about it. But when you're doing it, you know what you were thinking, you know what you were saying. You can, you can make those self corrections. So with Carson Wentz out, you have Jacob Eason, you have Sam Ellinger, and you have Jalen Morton. All of them under 24 years of age, <laughs> zero NFL starts. So the Colts having to make a phone call to bring a veteran in. Yeah, Brett Huntley is here with the team now, seven-year veteran. He's bound around the NFL has made 18 starts total and so this is a the guy they're hoping to lean on he's just uh, flown in he's had a lot of coffee he says he's trying to learn this playbook as quickly as possible you know hopefully there's correlation between the offenses that I've played with in Green Bay Seattle Arizona but um, you know it's all just figuring it out and trying to sort of get up to speed with things a lot of terminology. yeah that's the biggest thing I mean it's like learning a new language you know I think it just be an opportunity for me to just be able to help and uh, any questions they have especially me going I mean this is year seven for me and it's crazy how fast time goes um, but you know in the league seven years is a long time so so the value the experience I've been in the things I've went through in the league you know all that experience really will help I think uh, this group and uh, Jacob and all, all the quarterbacks you know so today really just a learning day for Brett Hundley spent a lot of time with Sam Ellinger trying to learn this playbook he did work with the running backs a little bit saw some nice passes it's out amazing there. how these things changed for the Indianapolis Colts in the matter of 48 hours now looking for a quarterback I expect they'll make yet another move we'll watch this play out in the next week or so yeah we did hear from Colts defensive coordinator Matt Eberflus. He says no timetable, no new information. When they find out, we will know. And Frank Reich should be back with the team on Monday. For Taylor, I'm Dave Calabra from Colts Camp. Have a great weekend.